In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding horizontal and vertical asymptotes of a rational function, quadratic numerator, or denominator. We're given our function here, f of x. We're asked to graph both the vertical and horizontal asymptotes if they exist. And to start, I'll recall that to find the vertical asymptotes, the first thing I want to do is make sure that our function here, f of x, is in its simplest form. So can I, for example, factor and then cancel factors in the numerator and the denominator? Here I can see that in the numerator, I could factor out a three and I would be left with an x squared in the first term, a minus three x in the second term, and a plus two in the third term. In the denominator, I only have two terms, the minus two x squared and the minus five, and I can't factor out a common factor. It's not the difference of two squares. So since I can't factor that any further, I'll just rewrite it. And I can see here, even before trying to factor the quadratic inside the parentheses, that I'm not going to be able to cancel with anything in the denominator. So my vertical asymptote would just be where that denominator equals zero. So if I set the denominator here, negative two, x squared minus 5 equals 0, and I attempt to solve it for x. To isolate the x, I would move the 5 over to the other side, giving me on the left-hand side a negative 2x squared equals 5. Isolating the x squared, I would divide by negative 2 on both sides, and I get x squared equals negative 5 halves. And even before trying to take the square root of both sides or anything to continue solving for x, I can see here that there are no real numbers that I could square and get a negative value. So this denominator here, negative 2x squared minus 5, will never be 0, meaning I won't have a vertical asymptote. So for vertical asymptotes, I could just say none, and I can move to horizontal asymptotes. And to find the horizontal asymptotes, I should recall that I'm going to look at n and m, where n is the degree of the numerator and m is the degree of the denominator. When we look back at our function, the degree of the top is 2, so n is 2, and the degree of the bottom is also 2, so m is 2. That means that our horizontal asymptote will be the leading coefficient of the top over the leading coefficient of the bottom. So here, our horizontal asymptote is y equals the leading coefficient in the numerator is 3, and the leading coefficient in the denominator is negative 2. Negative 3 halves is negative 1 and a half. So y equals negative one and a half. This would be our horizontal asymptote. 